This picture is for my exhibition that's going to be at St Martin in the Fields next month called Sacred or Profane and it's an enormous five foot square icon painting with real gold leaf. I had this idea, this is going to be part of a series of paintings of angels, I wanted to paint like a, a sad, grief-stricken angel. It was kind of an angel that was maybe, I don't know, kind of destroyed by, by the world and the lack of faith and... Um, Almost like in um, Peter Pan when um, Tinkerbell says every time you say you don't believe in fairies, one dies. Um, this model, he's called Joachim, and um, I found him at a private view on Viner Street, and um, I just saw him across the room, and I'd already had one beautiful boy walk past me on the King's Road that day, and I'd, and I'd not asked him if he'd sit for me, so I thought, I'm not going to let another boy slip through my fingers. So just when he looked like he was about to leave with his friends, I went up to him, I just gave him my card, which has beautiful boys on it, and just said, yes, I'd love to sit for you, he was Danish. And, um, and so he, did, he came and sat for me, and, um, and I did a couple of small paintings, and for this picture, I just I knew that there was some quality about him. I, I, was, I was looking for who would be a perfect angel, who kind of embodies the qualities that, that, that you'd want to see. And um, Joachim is one of the most beautiful people I've ever seen. He's more beautiful than, like... A w the most beautiful woman. He looks like Christy Turlington or something. His lips and his bone structure, it's like, whoa. Um, and I just thought that, yeah, he'd be a perfect angel because angels kind of have, have a, an androgyny about them. I think they're supposed to be sexless. Um, so this is going to be in the exhibition at um, um, Sacred or Profane. And the idea was it's going to be a series. And um, the next painting I've got of him, he's, he, he's f from further away and he's sitting and he, you can't see his face, which is kind of sad just because he's so beautiful, the fact that the viewer can't see his face. And his wings are kind of coming up behind him and he's just, it's going to be kind of blood dripping from him and kind of feathers coming out of his wings. And he's just this kind of dying swan type thing at the end of an opera. He's just this, this angel that's larger than, you know, just swooning. <laughs>